Hello everyone, and I'm back with another one. Hello everyone, it's Edo4 back at it again with another video, and this will be the sixth Japanese video report about D and D. Now, I know. All you are my asking. Demo Edo. Nihon artist wa wakarimase yo. Demo episode 2 the Dakara. But here's the thing D&D's a uh, celebration of them having their own day is more closer than everyone else. So that's pretty much. Why I gotta do it that way. That's why. Like usual, I'm gonna go to the beginning and ending the best way I can while speaking Japanese on how I listened and found them. So, here it is. So, our story starts off again in Okinawa, Japan, where Folder took place last time, but this time it's a group before Folder. But right around the same time that Speed starts, also to clear up something, Speed actually started in 1992 in Okinawa. Now on to D and D is the leader of Olivia Lufkin, born in Naha, Okinawa, on the 9th of December in 1979. She is half Japanese and American. Next is Aya Yuhara, born on the 6th of June in 1986 from Okinawa. Lastly, Chikano Higa, born in 1980 to September 15, and also from Okinawa. They have all met each other in the Okinawa Actors School by the early to mid-90s, especially since Olivia's father is in the American military. She saw all parts of the U.S., but her main passion was to go back to Japan. This is the moment where Kumumo Tetsar has came into the door, and then from the year of 1996, D&D was born. The songs that are performed in this chapter are all covers of Eurobeat songs except for Sunshine Hero. And I could definitely I definitely believe that D and D stands for Dance and Dream. For the fall of nineteen ninety six is their first single In Your Eyes on the twenty first of August on Avix Track Records and won the twenty fifth place on the chart. Tetsuya is one of the producers of a lot of AVIX songs and artists along with Max Matsura, the founder of AVIX since 1988. Well, he also worked on his own projects such as Globe from 1993 to 2008, and he was born in Fuchu, Tokyo on the 27th of November of 1958. While the founder of AVIX was born in 1964, of the start of October in Yokohama, Japan. D&D's second single, Love is a Melody, on September the 13th, winning 30th place. Now we're starting off 1997 with Sunshine Hero, released on the 4th of June and won 24th place on the charts. Their fourth single, Shape Up Love, shaped in the 12th of September. To start off the new year of 1998 is the fifth single, Brand New Love, in stores in the 4th of March, and this was the last single that they have with Olivia, because at this time, Olivia wanted to go solo. Along with their first album, Love is a Melody, D&D, &D, Memorial First, on the 18th of March, that placed gold of number five on the Ocon charts. Olivia's first demo before debut is Together Now that has featured Tetsiar and Jean Michael Jair, released on the 22nd of April for the World Cup Series of 98 France versus Japan. 
D&D with Ayaka and Chika continues with two more singles before the end of this chapter, which is Kissing the Sun, their sixth single of September the 30th of 1998, on a new name called Ayaka and Chika from D&D, and won 35th place of the charts. Lastly, we move on to their last single for D&D called Rise in My Heart. The seventh single released on the April 28th of 1999 and also the soundtrack for the anime Power Stone. On that same day was release of Tunkun's first single, Love Dakete. And finally, Mikuni Shimokawa first single, Believer Departure Song. She was originally from a group called Cheki Musume, which is an inspiration of AKB48. Hello, this is Editing Edo, and also I'm here to say uh, that The Boom has also released their song in the year of 1999 of April the 28th of translating of The Moon is Raining from the Sky. Back to the program. I'll explain later why these two other songs were chosen on this specific day. And now we're going to move on to the aftermath. Now, like I said before, this is the chapter where Olivia starts her solo career and Aya and Chica started in hips. Just like the folder video, I gotta keep this brief, especially since there is a lot of singles and albums that Olivia have done and hips is pretty short. But again, as a huge favorite to you all, I'll tell you what is my favorite singles from Olivia from this year. Hibs has started from 1997 from a mix of a group, Mission, and DAD put together, but they only made one single and a photo book called Go Go Girl in 2001 of August the 22nd and reached 30, 30th place on the chart. It all starts with Olivia being partnership of AVIX called Cutting Edge with 16 singles and 11 albums from 1999 to 2010. Her first single is called ILY Yokobo, which stands for I Love You, Desire, on February the 3rd of 1999 and won the 32nd place in the Ocon charts. Her third single that is my favorite, my first favorite, is Dress Me Up, released on the start of the millennium of April the 19th, 2000, and put on the 36th place and has an English version too. Two of these singles is from her first album, Synchronicity, released on the 6th of December in the end of 2000, and reached 20th place too. My second favorite is her seventh single, See Me, released in the wintertime of 2001, on the 5th of December and reach 89th place on the chart. My third favorite is her eighth single, Into the Stars, looked upon on the 4th of September 2002, and another song that has an English version as well, and put on the top of 100 of 99th place on the charts. These are the two singles included from her second album called The Lost Lolly, that was found in 2004 on the 8th of February and made on the top 100 on the 99th charts as well. And that's about it. But before I end this, she did do a soundtrack for the anime Nana called Nana's Best, released on the 21st of March in 2007. Afterwards, all three of them have started a family and fashion of their own. And now, why do I like D&D? The reason why I like D&D is because I believe that they've always had chemistry between the genre of music while talking and having fun with each other on and off stage. Even though their time together was cut short, all three of them are still alive and connected to each other as well. Even when Olivia took her own route 
of performing a rock genre, it was still in her own true Japanese and English fashion. And I really believe the same has went for Aya and Chika too. So once more, I'll be speaking Japanese on how I'm... F- mm. <laughs> so once more, I'll be speaking in Japanese on how I found them. Dozo. Mitsuketa wa hajimete D&D to... Watashi wa jinisai de moichido wa natsu wa nisei ni kyu. Jugo nihongo group wa kitaite toki. Hajimete promotion video wa YouTube wa in your heart. Tokoni koko ni aru ego no kashi wa. Watching you this morning, everything is shining. What a joy to have you by my side. Uta wa utate toki ni okasan wa watashi wa umareta wa inai nen. So yeba nisei ni jusan okasan watashi wa Shino tame koko karato kashi kaku. We know san artists no wa DND Rise in My Heart. Dakara ni tanjobi nandesu hatsubaite. Ima wa hatsu nizuni ichi aru DND hito. Ego wa. I have declared on August the 21st D&D Day. And happy 25th anniversary. Ego de hanashimasu. And now we move on to the shout outs. So today's shout outs for this video, it goes to Relax. Burke Hammer, Taylor Hill, Bands God, Prince Nelson, Retro Crutch, JAVSN, Erica, Okopatsu, Mikuni, Komo Tetsuya, and the DD members, Chika, Olivia, and Aya. And thank you all for watching. Once again, please comment and share my videos. And thanks for the viewers watching in Japan recently as well. Coming soon is Shonen Knife Day on August the 18th, a fourth episode of Talking Fun with Edo podcast, and my seventh report about TNC Bombar. See you all later. Janne. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now I got to say goodbye, but I will see you all next time. The new year of 1992. So our story starts off in, again. Ah. So Olivia's first demo, but David Hanashi Masuwa. Kita, Kita, 
Dang Doki. So our story starts off again. So our story starts off again in Okinawa, Japan. Nisei. So yeah, but Nisei Niki. So yeah, but also to clear up some Nisei Niju. So yeah, but especially since Oki, 